Welcome to Multilogin, the first anti-detect browser and market pioneer. In this video, we'll show you how to automate websites using Multilogin X. Managing multiple accounts and handling large-scale data extraction can be overwhelming. Traditional methods often trigger detection, account restrictions, and inefficiencies. With Multilogin, you can seamlessly automate multiple accounts within a single browser, keeping your activities under the radar. It also automates bypassing bots and CAPTCHAs on platforms like Gmail, Facebook, and others, ensuring smooth operations across the board. In this video, we will demonstrate the automation process for a LinkedIn account. First, we need to log in to Multilogin. Here's how to get started. Open the Multilogin website, log into your account, and connect the agent. Next, I will show you how to set up Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a Node.js library, so we need to download and install Node.js from Node.js.org. Open VS Code app and run the terminal. Type npm init and npm install Puppeteer. This will initialize a package.json file and install Puppeteer as a project dependency. Here is my sample project that I have made to scrape some simple data from LinkedIn through our browser profile that we have just made. Before creating your own script, you will need two steps. One is to enter your multi-login username and the password, and another is the folder ID and the profile ID. I will show you how to get the folder ID and profile ID. After you get your folder ID and profile ID and paste it to your script, you are all set. And then what you will need to do is to run your own script. What I'm doing here is I'm scraped some data according to the selectors I have made. And in the end, it will save it as CSV or any method that you want. One more thing that I'm using cookies method to log into the LinkedIn. There could be two ways to log into LinkedIn. One is just you can log in manually through the profile you have created. Another way is you don't need to manually log in, but what you will need to do is just set your cookies data here. There will be a file named LinkedIn Cookies, and you can just set it here. 
If it is available, then the page will set the cookie and it will go to the LinkedIn profile. Then it scrapes the data and saves it. After running, you'll see your browser is opened and the scraper is already running. Here you will see the response and it goes through the profile you have just created. After successfully scraping the data, it closes the browser automatically and the output file is saved in this path. You can see the CSV data saved in your path. That is how multi-login makes web automation simple. Thank you for watching. We look forward to helping you succeed.